Hi guys, how you all doing? I know it's been a minute. Oh my days, it always has to do something. Anyway guys, or should I say hello people of the world, how are you all doing today? Yes guys, we're back again with another video because it's been a while. Wagwan, what you say? This is love, sweet love, coming from the bottom of my heart. Guys, so today's video is basically, as you know, our last video was about traveling. Um, we went to Italy during, you know, this whole COVID pandemic situation. Um, but, uh, we, so yeah, we went, we went traveling because, you know, we just needed a break, you know. If y'all follow us, you know that we need to travel. So we just did that for our anniversary. And um, we just thought, oh, why not give you guys some tips about what we did or what we found out or learned or things that we basically thought will help if you decide to travel in a pandemic. Anyway, in the UK at the moment, as of yesterday, we are on lockdown. What's the song that we did? Lockdown won't let me out. No, that's not the song we did. What song was it? Coffee song. Oh, rapture. When the quarantine team done and everybody touch road. When the quarantine ain't done and we're not touch road. Well, we did for a bit and now we're in lockdown in the UK. Guys, we're in lockdown as of yesterday, 31st of October. So, and even there's travel restrictions. So, anyway, if you're booking your ticket, <laughs> some of these tips might actually help. Yeah. So the first tip that we've got, number one, is find out what the country rules are that you're going to and what the rules are in the country that you're in. Because in the UK, you can't, you said you can't go to certain countries? Well, like other no, countries so. are locked, like won't let us in or vice versa. What? What? Yeah, some countries you can't go from here. What? No, but that's not what it is, hon. Well, some that's some of the rules, hon. No, it's it's whether you can quarantine when, when you come back. That you have to that's, quarantine. That's for the a two separate weeks. topic. There's actually certain countries that have closed their borders to okay. other people okay. from okay. other countries. Okay, that's fine. So you need to saying. find out if the borders are open. Yeah. Um, if you can into the country. Yeah, if you can even get into the country in the first place. So first of all, wherever you're going, find out if the borders are open and if you can get back. Because there's no point booking a ticket to places you can't go. Although there are ways around it. Doesn't, doesn't BA like tell you, like, so let's say you book a date into a country Hun, that toys it wouldn't even allow you to book it if that's you what i mean go. so you you as soon as you yeah go. but you might have booked it prior anyway you should okay. get an email so check where you're going in case the borders close to the country you're coming from obviously there's ways around it because you can travel to other countries and then get in to the other country via that way so i know that i think like at the moment nigeria um the border from france to nigeria is like closed and so if you're coming yeah, from France or using any airline from France, France no, is it France or it's Nigeria? Nigeria. <laughs> They've closed the border to France. So if you're traveling and using like Air France or anything, you can't actually get into the country. So Why do you do that? some politics, I don't know. So that's, that's, that's like number one. COVID testing. So um, a lot of countries, uh, for example, I think the best example is Dubai. Like they won't allow you to come to the country without uh, test within four, 72 hours, I think it is. Yeah, I think 72 hours. Yeah, so you have to have had a COVID test and the results back. And obviously, it can't be a positive test. Mm. If it's positive, then you can't go. You better stay where you are. So, yeah, um, make sure you understand the rules whether you have to have a COVID test before you go into the country or not. Um, I know Italy, we didn't have to. Yeah, but I heard a lot of people saying that in Italy you had to have a test before you go and all that stuff. But maybe it's the part of Italy that you go to because where we went to um, Amalfi Coast, we didn't take a no COVID test. I mean, we had one prior because um, Nathaniel, our son, if you watch our channel, had a cough, which we knew was like more from a cold. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we all got tested with, we were negative. So um, we knew it was fine to go anyway. But yeah, we didn't get tested. Yeah. Or maybe so, we're on the database. <laughs> yeah, but I would say what is it called? Just check because I 
as I said, Dubai, you will not go there's into There's loads country. of countries now. And there's other countries that say we need a test beforehand. So check if you need a COVID test. The next thing you should do when you're traveling in this pandemic, although the UK is in a lockdown, check if you have to quarantine when you come back because um, there's a lot of countries where the cases are going up and the UK requires you to quarantine when you come back. And if you work like in a contracting role or in a, a role where you get paid as you work, it might be difficult for you or maybe you can afford to quarantine. So, but if you can't afford to quarantine, just make sure you check before you find out you have to quarantine. And I know sometimes like they literally change the rules overnight yeah. because, um, yeah, like I was so worried when we were in Italy that they were gonna change the rules like overnight and be like, oh, everyone coming back by Friday, you have to quarantine. And I would've been annoyed because I get paid back out, so <laughs> I need that money. But um, yeah, just check. So just in case, it, it might work for you, it might not work for you, but check it if you need to quarantine. Yeah, obviously the most essential, I believe, is that you make sure you pack your essentials. The most essentials make sure you pack your essentials. Okay. Yeah. That was good, was it? <laughs> oh. Anyways, <laughs> so pack your essentials. So make sure you pack the your a mask, and I would say pack several masks. So because you know you don't want to be wearing the same mask, you know, You're not spreading to be. that bacteria thing. Um, or if you have a washable mask, make sure you're washing it and stuff like that. Um, a lot of these countries now, because of COVID, like you are wearing your mask basically yeah. practically the whole day. So, and it's not, I, I won't lie to you, that if, if there's anything that I didn't enjoy about Italy, was wearing, wearing a mask. Like, it is because it was hot, hot. Yeah, I don't know how people do it in hot countries. Yeah, it's just, it's hot. literally unbearable. Like you walk in around the hotel, you have to wear it. When you go into restaurants, you have to wear it until you get your food and all that stuff. Just, just Even here, like you have to wear yeah. your mask. So Same you thing here, yeah. but at least in this country it's cold. Actually, to be honest, I hate it in this country. Like, you know, doesn't go anywhere anyway. Be... <laughs> <laughs> That's why I hate it. At work, I wear my mask 24-7 anyway. Yeah, so. I don't have to wear a mask. But yeah, um, yeah, just know you have to wear a mask. So get your mask, make sure you have your alcohol gel. Uh, so buy a few packs of those because Nano is being really selfish with the alcohol gel just give me a drop when I need I have big hands, I have bigger hands than her so I need more than a drop, I need like 2-3 drops I don't know why he's talking, we had like 3 bottles of alcohol wipes and did they finish? no they didn't finish exactly but we used them that you were giving me drops we were using it like every minute what are you yeah, on about? you were giving me drops oh my days anyway, take it <laughs> anyways, out anyways, alcohol gel bring some wipes the wipes is a maybe just as long as you make sure you take care but um, I will say bring wipes anyways just to make sure yeah, you know antibacterial antibacterial wipes so you wipe your chair wipe your table you know just anything you need anything. to do to stay safe really so, yeah like, you, even if you buy something just give it a quick wipe you know just so that, yeah we literally like all our shopping that we get we've got like 70% alcohol <gasps> we need to buy more lockdown lockdown oh my days <laughs> anyway <laughs> When we get our delivery, we literally write, wipe every single thing like that we get before we put it away. Oh, guys, so, who's joining house party? I've seen a lot of people saying that. Oh, now that lockdown is back. I've been seeing jokes. Oh, house I party find house party again. boring. Louder house party thing. Louder thing. Oh yeah, and gloves, guys. Bring. Make sure you bring some gloves. Just be careful with gloves though, because I think the thing is when people wear gloves, they feel like they can touch everything and they're immune. Oh, yeah. But what happens is you're actually spreading more infect, like more germs, because you feel like, oh, I've got gloves, I can touch this. Oh, I've got gloves, I can touch this. Oh, I've got you gloves. Know what? For me, you're I'm touching things. Skip out the gloves thing and it's probably sure. better to have your hands because when you touch something, you're like, ah, oh, like I need to wash it. Yeah. Like I feel well, me anyway, I feel dirty and need to clean it. But when you have gloves, it's almost like. <laughs> You feel like you can touch everything, your face, everything. Ah, spreading the disease. So anyway, it's optional. That's my opinion on gloves. And the last point, guys, which is what I think, I was gonna say what helped us, but we didn't have to use it, was book flexible everything uh, from top to bottom. Yep. Our flight was flex. Oh no, our flight wasn't flexible. But book a flexible flight. If you can. <laughs> if you can, just pay the extra little cash and book a flexible um, 
flight. We didn't book a flexible flight though, but we did book a flexible hotel where we could cancel within 48 hours. We paid like two pound extra for our parking. So that could be um, get canceled and we get our money back if we needed it. And also, what else? Our transfer was also, I think like 24 or 48 hours cancellation. And the thing is, um, with our flights, I kind of forgot to book flexible flights, but the thing is we we're hoping that if it did get canceled, if they canceled it, then obviously that would, they would have to give our money back because they canceled it as an airline, yeah. not us. So we would automatically get our money back. But if you can book flexible flights, which is probably gonna be the most expensive bit, then go ahead. But if you have any deals to book, anything else that you wanna do while you're away, I would advise booking something flexible because it's, it's often just a few quid here and there and it's probably worth it, especially in this climate. You don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know when they're gonna change the law. You don't know, so. I say book flexible everything, okay? And my other suggestion is on the lines of booking flexible. If you needs be, so two things, make sure you have travel insurance. Oh yes, yeah. Make sure you have travel insurance, because you know, you never know what's gonna happen. You know, you then might cancel last minute and then you won't be able to get your money, because you know how these people are. So travel insurance is one. Next idea, book with a credit card. Oh yeah. Because if you book with a credit card, you can then do a charge back. You're and more likely. You're more likely to get your money back yeah, rather than yeah. if you book with a debit card. Because yeah. with debit, they send the money straight away. Whereas with a credit card, that's the bank's money. So they will want their money back. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. That's true, actually. And we, I, we had this experience because one of our holidays that got cancelled was to go to LA for Nyasha's surprise birthday. Obviously, it's not a surprise anymore because we didn't go call anymore. They got cancelled. But because I didn't want him to know, I booked it on my personal. I could have done my credit card, you know. I didn't think of it anyway. But it would have been. Anyway, I don't basically. It that much. Basically. Be nice. Yeah. I didn't want him to find out on the statement on the credit card. So I booked it on the debit card, uh, my personal debit card. And then. Um, yeah, it was just a bit harder to get the money back and it took a while to get the money back. Obviously, it was a credit card. It would have been a lot easier and a lot faster to get the money back. Yeah. But yeah, I definitely agree. If you have a credit card, then... Book with the credit card. Yeah. Then if, if the thing is cancelled and the airline are acting trash, charge get back. Get your money back, yeah. Charge that thing back and get your money back quick. Anyway, Greetings. that's all we learned from traveling in the pandemic. I hope that was helpful to you guys in case you want to book a little weekend away. Although in the UK we're on lockdown, so I don't know if you can yeah. travel really. Anyway, but I would yeah. also like to say guys, please be safe. Um, yeah. I, you see the worst thing about the about you know this lockdown thing is that you know people just get worse. They just take it like to 200%. And they then just go like, you know, if the government are gonna put me on lockdown, I'm gonna go and party. I'm gonna have a party for 200 people in my house. Guys, I lie. Yeah, guys, just coronavirus is actually real. First of all, I work in a hospital, so like, I just see names appear and disappear, which is really sad. And the other thing is that I know people's family members that have actually died from it. So it's not like it's, a joke it's not a joke people are actually dying so if you can protect yourself do protect yourself it's a it's a scary thing scary times that we're in but you know we trust and believe that god will take us through it always but, yeah and always just protect let's, us. let's let's use but wisdom stay guys. safe yeah stay let's safe. use wisdom there's no need to go and do unnecessary things so you don't need to do them and you know, let's just obey the law of the land. They say, say go, stay at home. To an extent, but yeah. <laughs> and we just, just listen to them. If they say what is the code, uh, you can only have a walk with the person outside, one person a day. Just go have your walk with them. <laughs> just have that walk with that one person a day. And within a month, at least this time they're doing a month. So yeah, but it might be extended. You don't know. Like after God you, forbid, they said a month. You know we have three weeks and it got extended for another three weeks. Yes, I know. But anyway, guys, yeah, let's so just we we'll, we'll keep talking. But we'll, let we'll end it here. We can we can go on about coronavirus forever ever, ever and how we feel about it. But guys, make sure you stay safe. 
and if you enjoyed this video make sure to like comment subscribe let us know if you plan to travel and we, where to, we might even we plan some, to travel we need some ideas again. <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm too bored of <laughs> i'm too bored of this, this we'll thing. let you know if we're traveling again just follow us on our instagram and you'll find out there first if we travel or not yes but yeah make sure you like comment subscribe and Hit yourself. the doorbell. Hit the doorbell. Hit the oh my days. Hit the bell button. Bell button! Belly, belly. Belly, belly. Right. <laughs> Bye, guys. This was meant to be a short video, and now it's like 15 minutes. So I don't understand. It's meant to be five minutes. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe, bye, and bye. we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.